Welcome to the ancient and accepted Scottish Rite of Freemasonry of Canada. Men who are received into Freemasonry may soon realize that being raised to the sublime degree of a Master Mason is not the final destination of their personal Masonic journey. Freemasonry provides the opportunity for men of good character to become better, better contributing members of society, better husbands and fathers, better leaders, better friends, and better neighbors. I joined the Scottish Rite to continue uh, my Masonic journey and follow in the footsteps of my father, who I know got a lot out of his Scottish Rite years. It's something that's not like anything else I've experienced in Masonry. It became much more than just curiosity. It felt like you were coming home to a, a family that you were always part of. It seemed to me that most of the senior Freemasons who had my respect and admiration were members of the Scottish Rite. Anytime you have the opportunity to um, expand your, your Masonic knowledge and your growth, it, it's going to um, increase your understanding. After being a Master Mason in my lodge, I've, I was intrigued to expand my knowledge and light in Masonry. My father was a, a Mason and a member of the Scottish Rite and my grandfather was a Mason, and my uncles were Masons. You really just meet great people uh, and explore values and morals and, and what it means uh, to be a father and a man today. Scottish Rite Freemasonry assists a Master Mason who wishes to further examine Freemasonry to continue his personal journey of exploration and contemplation on what it means to be a Freemason in today's society. Scottish Rite Freemasonry provides the highway on which the Master Mason may travel throughout his lifetime. It makes me a better person. Um, it makes me want to contribute more to society, to give back, to be in a position to help others. You, you know, you look at the traditional values of faith, hope, and charity, uh, but there are many more values that are equally important. Patience, understanding, justice, and I find it incredibly useful and helpful in my teaching career, uh, dealing with young people, but also uh, with my family, and just with members of my community in general. No matter um, how long you've been a Freemason, there will always be something that you, you will learn. It expanded more uh, to know what it is to be a good person. The Scottish Rite brings a sense of value to life. It's added to a lot of the universal truths that we talk about in craft masonry. And the Scottish Rite goes into very uh, in-depth knowledge about that, so it's very helpful. And when you meet someone and you find out that they're a Scottish Rite Mason, you automatically know that there's, there's certain goals and ideals that you hold in common. The Scottish Rite is a system of Masonic degrees which elaborates and supplements the content of the three craft degrees by ritual, dramas, allegory. It explores topics such as integrity, justice, brotherhood, duty, loyalty, generosity, toleration, and commitment. They do it as a drama, uh, just like a play. And I guess that's basically what it is. It's a portrayal of a degree. It's not even um, just a degree itself, a delivery of a degree. Sometimes you as an audience, uh, from the time that you're a candidate, even the time that you're a member, you feel that you were being taken back in time and you feel that you are actually there. I was intrigued because I also want to be an actor as well. What I like about the degrees especially in the drama is in my, the past that I play, I can, I can emphasize, I can uh, personalize, I can really act. Just reading the rituals over and over and just being part of it, it, it makes you understand so much more. You know, you learn. The atmosphere of the plays that were happening in the degrees was uh, very intriguing to, to me. When I experience the degrees, I have many of those aha moments. You'll be learning a part of the ritual or you'll be watching somebody else perform a part of the ritual and they will say a, a line or two in just that way and it suddenly occurs to you that, ah, that's what they meant in the third degree or the second degree or whatever degree. The history and philosophy of masonry are developed in ceremony and drama. There is opportunity to read to reflect and to respond, to acquire a deeper knowledge and understanding of Masonic ritual, values, and symbolism. This is the opportunity, the challenge, and the reward 
that the Scottish Rite presents to the Master Mason. There are approximately 15,000 Scottish Rite Freemasons in 46 valleys across Canada. The Scottish Rite seeks to develop in our members virtues and character, which encourage men to improve their faculties for the good of the human race. Every time I come out, I learn something, and I think when I come out, I'm a better person. I feel that I will gain something for the betterment of myself, uh, and by doing so, uh, being able to be um, a good uh, person in society. It all helps strengthen you as a person, and helps you be able to pass that on to others, to help them in their own development. Because they are universal truths, they're never going to go away. So it's something that is relevant as it was maybe a hundred years ago, and it will be a hundred years from now. The Scottish Rite is comprised of three distinct bodies. Lodge of Perfection, Chapter of Rose Croix, and the Consistory. It wasn't until you got to observe the degrees when other people were going through it that you really got value out of it. The amazing thing about the Scottish Rite degrees is you are an observer and other people are putting on the degree work for you and you're able to watch them and take out of it what it is that you need. It's a different play each degree. There's a lesson that it extrapolates upon in those degrees and seeing it performed like that, uh, the visual aspect of it is very memorable and helps to imprint upon your mind some of the things that you learn. In my mind, the Scottish Rite is an opportunity for Master Masons to further their knowledge in, in masonry and further develop their, you know, their skill set towards morality and brotherly love. Lodges of Perfection confer the 4th to the 14th degrees. It is to one of these lodges that a Master Mason applies for membership. The degrees continue the story of the building of King Solomon's Temple and amplify and conclude the legend of the Master Mason degree. Chapters of Rose Croix consist of the 15th to the 18th degrees. The 15th and 16th degrees relate to the rebuilding of the Second Temple by Zerubbabel. The 17th degree is an approach to, and the 18th degree a recognition of the Christian ethic, but in universal terms, thus assisting in the building in our hearts of the Third Temple, not made with hands. Consistories confer the 19th to the 32nd degrees. These degrees, often elaborate and highly dramatic, cover a variety of approaches to Masonic teaching. Some have the Crusades as a background. The 30th, 31st, and 32nd degrees culminate the teachings of the Scottish Rite and are conferred in full ritual form. Application for membership in the Scottish Rite is open to members of any Canadian craft lodge who are Master Masons. Continued membership in a craft lodge is required to maintain membership in the Scottish Rite. Within most lodges, uh, there are members who are members of the Scottish Rite, and this was the easiest way to sort of find out uh, about it is to ask them about uh, the possibility of joining. Any Master Mason in good standing can become a member of the Scottish Rite. You become a member the same way you become a member of Masonry in general. Uh, you reach out to, to somebody and you express an interest. And it's amazing. Uh, next thing you know, you're just, you're there. You can also go online to scottishrightcanada.ca. You could talk to your Scottish Rite representative in your lodge and ask for an application or attend a Master Mason night uh, put on by the, their Scottish Rite Valley. The Scottish Rite is open to all Master Masons. You just ask. The Scottish Rite Charitable Foundation of Canada has been funding medical research in universities and hospitals across Canada into puzzles of the mind, such as Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, and other neurodegenerative ailments in the aging population in areas such as dyslexia and autism in children. Each year, the foundation donates approximately $400,000 to qualified researchers to continue their essential and worthwhile research across Canada. We take hundreds of thousands of dollars every year and we'll give it right to the researchers in uh, universities and other research centers really going right into those, uh, into those fields. That actually um, hits close to home only because my, my late dad, uh, my late father, uh, was diagnosed with Alzheimer's uh, before he passed away. There's not many of us that either within our immediate family or our close family friends um, hasn't experienced um, seeing a, you know, a, a beloved family member suddenly not recognize people when they, when they walk through the door. These are things that impact people and, 
And it's amazing when they can have huge gains uh, because of some of the charitable work that we've done. In addition, the foundation assists local organizations or valleys in starting learning centers for dyslexic children. These centers provide free tutoring for children to help them overcome their reading difficulties and by training a growing cadre of highly skilled and dedicated tutors. Learning centers have been licensed and are operational in Vancouver, Calgary, Edmonton, Barrie, Bracebridge, London, Windsor, Moncton, and Halifax. It's hard to describe what it's like to see a child on their journey from when they can't read and they're so frustrated they want to just lash out to when you see them at graduation. It's kind of related to what we do. I mean, we build confidence in men and our endeavors, especially the dyslexic centers, build confidence in children. A close friend of mine, uh, his granddaughter went through the dyslexia program through the, the Valley of Barrie. And it just blows my mind, uh, the success that she has had and, and the impact it has had on her life. And I've had the pleasure of hearing her speak of this. The Scottish Rite Charitable Foundation also provides valleys with a means to set up their own learning centers. I'm very proud of what they do and, and the dedication that they put into their, the craft. I uh, try to emulate their works and their ambition and their, and their desires and, and it becomes uh, almost uh, a contagious fever that you get and you want to you wanna be a part of that and that excitement of doing it. Really the key to the Scottish Rite charity to me is that the Scottish Rite inspires its members to be charitable in their daily life. It teaches us that we should help the oppressed, protect the innocent, that we should never think our charity expensive should a worthy individual be the recipient. If you are a Master Mason in good standing and seeking more knowledge of the mission and symbolism of Freemasonry, a more complete interpretation of the teachings of the craft degrees, as well as participation in a very special fellowship and brotherhood, we encourage you to contact us by speaking to a Scottish Rite member in your lodge or by visiting our website at www.scottishritecanada.ca or call the Supreme Council office at 905-522-0033.